ょっとこう怖い場面もあったので、えー、もうほっとしたっていうのがすごく大きかったですね。この日の丸を背負ってのこの戦い、オリンピックの舞台はいかがでしたか？えー、<笑> champion like you. What? Tennis? No, and. Oh, the Kilo Shot. Cheers. Cheers. To be number one. Back, getting back to number one. <laughs> Stars like that. I didn't expect that. That was a strong one. I'll see you up. <laughs> <laughs> what was your question, Jack? Uh, just how'd you guys pull off this amazing feat this week? You guys really gelled well today. Just how'd you, how'd you do it? <laughs> well, uh, I was getting inspiration from your win in Shanghai last week. Do you have any friends, you know, on the tour? I mean, would you ever be friends with Caroline Wozniacki? No. She's not too nice. She's never smiled. Really? <laughs> what do you want to know about me? That would be more interesting. So global warming. <laughs> global warming. <laughs> well, I think we should. Uh, well, you know, I'm flying quite a bit, so that doesn't really help. And um, go green. So you make cars that don't uh, use so much gas. Make them electric. That would already help. Use uh, the buses, the trains, instead of uh, taking the car. You know, just a, a few things. When you take a shower, don't stay there for half an hour. Two minutes is enough. Even the... I won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, change of subject. <laughs> well, you know, so, so what did you say about me? <laughs> oh, I love you. Come on. Give me some dirt. When I'm going to get married first, I need to find a guy that... <laughs> I find it very difficult to speak today. <laughs> Put a sentence together. Well, Andy Roddick was playing on court 13 as well, and I heard someone was telling me the last nine years he hasn't been playing on any other courts than, than this one. So, uh, yeah, you know, if he's not complaining, I'm not complaining either. <laughs> you really put me on the spot uh, there. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to see tomorrow? <laughs> I prefer not to knock out anyone. I'm a nice girl, so <laughs> we watched. Uh, what did we watch? What was the second movie? The orgy. The orgy. Ah, oh, that was. I mean, that could be misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> do that in the middle. I don't think I could hear that once. <laughs> I, I was out on court. All right, next up, Sam Groth, who record another Australian who supposedly hit a 163 mile an hour serve <laughs> on a challenger turkey. Okay, okay, okay. Unofficial record, but what do you expect from him? <laughs> Some big serves, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's the obvious, right? How do you actually keep, keep doing it year after year, Grand Slam after Grand Slam? I mean, you make it look so easy, and obviously mm. it isn't. How do, how do you keep doing it? Yeah, look, uh, there's no secret behind it, you know. I mean, definitely a very talented player. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I always, I, I always, I, I, I always knew I had something special, but I didn't know it was like, you know, that crazy. And uh, I definitely had to work extremely hard. So I would pick the right shot at the right time. Like for instance, uh, you know, on the match point, I, I decided to hit a drop shot. You know, you gotta be crazy to do that. But um, I just, you know. Uh, I always knew I had it in my hand. The question was, did I have it in my mind and in my legs? But there was a serve in the middle of that match. It actually landed over in the crowd. Can you, can you just take a look at this? You, can you talk us through this? What, what happened here? I want to have good communication with the fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> my friend Grigor here, the best looking guy on the tour. <laughs> you don't need to talk about tennis too much. You have so much success this year. So let's talk about your looks. So, yeah, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let you be. I'll let you be. Gallop. Seriously? They speak that fast, like I can, I cannot. 
even, you know, during the years I improved. Right? Everybody use it. You know, there are players who don't use it and who like to have a better feeling without it. But I use it, especially at uh, at this part. If you can, if you can see. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's a basic joke yeah, yeah. of tennis. Uh -huh. Sorry. Do you train really hard in the off season? Can you give me any tips, anything you can talk about? Oh, it's all talent. I don't work. I just sit on the couch. <laughs> you, you thought you had something going, right? That you were one of those, like with Lendl, that, you know, made us generation work hard. Not with me, anyway. I, I didn't get inspired. <laughs> no. No, I, I, all I do is really just take care of the kids, you know. I won't say no if Andy Murray decides now, all right, he's a nice guy, Rog, he's a father, and uh, let's... You know, I won't say no. Uh, <laughs> but I know that uh, he'd like to win the first for British tennis since, what is it, 150,000 years, so... Sometimes out here I ask you questions about records that you have because you have so many different records. Can you remember the last time that you lost in a third round of a major? I'll pick the French over against Gustavo Kirten, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4. What year? 2004. I was a number one seed. <laughs> well, unless my notes are incorrect, it was 2003. But it, was, but it was Curtin? Well, it was the French Open, but... No, I think you're wrong. Yeah? I might be. Good. I might be. Before, before the third round. Before, you lost before the third round. But I thought Guga was the third round. No, but you had to lose before the third round. Aren't you listening to me? <laughs> I, I just played a five-setter. <laughs> Yes, you did. And you played a great one. And you're through. And I think a lot of people are happy that you are. We'll see you again here in a couple of days. Get some rest. He asked me to ask you, morning suit or kilt for the wedding? I think... Uh... <laughs> Mate, relax, relax. Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to have both options and see what I feel like uh, in the morning when I wake up. If it is kilt, is it proper kilt? Yeah, obviously, proper kilt, yeah. So free ball. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've got a match to play in a couple of days. Can I, can I go on? I'll Stop. carry your bags. I got him. I like Nick. I've spoken to him away from the court, and he's quite different to how, how he is on it. And, um, sorry, my brother's just fun. <laughs> A super time for you personally because Mercury is expecting your third child and the last time she was pregnant you won the French and Wimbledon so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be repeated? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't know whether you realise what you've done but boy, how does it feel to hold that trophy now? Yeah, it feels uh, slightly different to... <laughs> To last year, um, you know, it was. Um, so we should try another thing, another uh, the Bavarian tradition. We have the Lederhosen, and um, das ganze vielleicht jetzt mal auf Deutsch. <laughs> es gibt es gibt Traditionen im Sport. Wir, wir kennen das. Wir kennen die Erdbeeren, die so fest zum Turnier von Wimbledon gehören. Wir kennen das Masters und wissen, dass das grüne Jackett dem Sieger von Augusta äh, übergestreift wird. Und wir wollen eine Tradition hier einführen, bei dem der Champion diese Lederhose einmal anzieht. Und Andy macht das Ganze mit. Das ist wunderbar. This is going to be interesting now. Traditional wir haben so eine uh, Wand hier sozusagen for to try on here. aufgebaut. Und uh, Not sure he expected to be doing this. Er wird mit uh, einmal sozusagen ein Duell. Ich meine, ein Mann, part of der in geheiratet hat vor drei Wochen. Am 11. April gab es ja die Hochzeit in seiner Heimatstadt Dunblame. Und ich finde, wir können ihn ruhig so ein bisschen äh, unterstützen, oder? Mit so einem Applaus. Ich vermute... Und jetzt oben noch alles anschnallen. Oh, jetzt hüpft er schon. Die scheint eng zu sitzen. Um, Eine Lederhose muss ja eng sitzen, wie wir alle wissen. <lacht> Andy Murray in Lederhose. Well, it's a different look, that's for sure. Andy, just one step out of the field. <laughs> but it looks it looks uh, fabulous. It looks fabulous. Thank you very much for, for doing this. So, jetzt auch noch das Foto natürlich.
Big Pokal und Lederhose. Und liebe Zuschauer, das ist ein bisschen miserable right now. We need a new Prime Minister, a new England Football Manager, a new Top Gear Presenter, and Wales are losing. So how does it feel to be the nation's last hope? <lacht> It's not that bad, is it? <laughs> Finally, Chris Fowler and John McEnroe call the match for us on ESPN. They asked a question repeatedly through the match. We're not going to ask you to do it, but John said you could hurt your wrist, your shoulder, whatever it might be. But do you think, looking up from where we stand right now to the roof closed, that it is possible to hit a ball from where we stand off the roof? You want me to try? We leave that up to you, but I think the crowd does. Going straight up. The no. only thing I would say, you're going straight up. There's no way. You can't generate enough leverage to do that. Oh, yeah. let's go to the president's box. I think they were running out of stuff to talk about on the broadcast. Uh, we couldn't tell from our vantage point, Rafa. It, it looked like you nearly hit it. No, no, <laughs> impossible for me. <laughs> we appreciate the effort, Rafa and all through to the third Thank round. You. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. I changed when I was 11 years old uh, to one-end backhand, and uh, was uh, was a good move apparently. So it's uh, it's a lot about the way I'm playing. Uh, my I'm trying to also thank you for the girls, please. I'm not trying for once a question, so please stay focused. <laughs> Transformation in your life this year. But I still think the, the interview uh, was great, the but the then I needed Roger to stick around so I could ask a few questions in Spanish for a CNN in Espanol program. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. I'm just going to read out some questions okay. in Spanish. Just yeah. a couple of questions while, while you're in shot. Okay. Um, and I don't need to answer them. No, you don't okay. need to answer them Fine. at all. Here we go. Usted es un hombre record. <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. This is tough. Thanks, I tell you. Thanks, appreciate. It. No, it's okay. I, I can I can keep going even if you're smiling. Okay. I'll keep going. No worry. If you crack up, no. that's when I lose it. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Usted es un hombre. <laughs> Since this is for Latin America, maybe I can undo one more button. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's good with them. All right, shot. That's one. Shut, yeah. your, shut your eyes, Roger. Don't look at him. <laughs> yeah, you don't okay. have to. Like, it's just the back of your eyes. So. Can I shut my eyes? You, you shut your eyes. Yeah, you okay. Your eyes. All right. All right. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> I can't believe he's closing his eyes. This is hilarious. I've never asked someone a question when they're closing their. <laughs> to find a guy that <laughs> I find it very difficult to speak today <laughs> put a sentence together well Andy Roddick was playing on court 13 as well and I heard someone was telling me the last nine years he hasn't been playing on any other courts than than this one so uh, yeah you know if he's not complaining I'm not complaining either <laughs> you really put me on the spot there <laughs> <laughs> I prefer not to knock out anyone. I'm a nice girl, so <laughs> we watched. Uh, what did we watch? What was the second movie? The orgy. The orgy. Ah, oh, that was. I mean, that could be misunderstood. 
<laughs> you should do that. Do that in the middle. I don't think I could hear that one. <laughs> I was out on court. All right, next up, Sam Groth, who record another Australian who supposedly hit a 163 mile an hour serve <laughs> on a challenger turkey. Okay, okay, okay. Unofficial record, but what do you expect from him? <laughs> Some big serves, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's the obvious, right? How do you actually keep, keep doing it year after year, Grand Slam after Grand Slam? I mean, you make it look so easy, and obviously mm. it isn't. How do, how do you keep doing it? Yeah, look, uh, there's no secret behind it, you know? I mean, definitely a very talented player. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I always... I, I always, I, I, I always knew I had something special, but I didn't know it was like, you know, that crazy. And uh, I definitely had to work extremely hard. So I would pick the right shot at the right time. Like for instance, uh, you know, on the match point, I, I decided to hit a drop shot. You know, you gotta be crazy to do that. But um, I just, you know, I always knew I had it in my hand. The question was, did I have it in my mind and in my legs? But there was a serve in the middle of that match. It actually landed over in the crowd. Can you, can you just take a look at this? You, can you talk us through this? What, what happened here? I want to have good communication with the fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk. <laughs> so now, oh, my friend Grigor here, the best looking guy on the tour. <laughs> You don't need to talk about tennis too much. You have so much success this year. So let's talk about your looks. So, yeah, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let you be. I'll let you be. Gallop. Seriously? Tennis speak that fast? Like, I cannot. Even, you know, during the years, I improve. Everybody use it. You know, there are players who don't use it and who like to have a better feeling without it, but I use it. Especially at uh, at this part, if you can if you can see. Ah. <laughs> oh <laughs> That's yeah. That's a basic joke yeah, yeah. of tennis. Ah. Sorry. Do you train really hard in the off season? Can you give me any tips? Anything you can talk about? Oh, it's all talent. That don't work. I just sit on the couch. <laughs> you, you thought you had something going, right? I was getting inspiration from your women. <laughs> 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 Do you have any friends, you know, on the tour? I mean, would you ever be friends with Caroline Wozniacki? No. She's not too nice. She's never smiled. Really? <laughs> what do you want to know about me? That would be more interesting. It's all global warming. <laughs> global warming? <laughs> well, I think we should, uh... Well, you know, I'm flying quite a bit, so that doesn't really help. And, um... Go green, so you make cars that don't uh, use so much gas, make them electric, that would already help. Use uh, the buses, the trains, instead of uh, taking the car. You know, just uh, a few things. When you take a shower, don't stay there for half an hour. Two minutes is enough. Even the... I won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, change the subject. <laughs> Well, you know, so, what did you say about me? <laughs> oh, I love you. Come on. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> ま、最後まだ <laughs> Champion like you. Where? Tennis? No, and. Oh, the Cheers. Cheers. Yeah! To be number one. Back, getting back to number one. <laughs> Starts like that. I didn't expect that. That was a strong one. I'll see you up. <laughs> what was your question, Jack? Uh, just how did you guys pull off this amazing feat this week? You guys really gelled well today. Just, just how did you, you do it? 